folks, Michael Hickman here. I've got a very serious subject that I'd like to cover uh, because as a native Georgian, uh, we have people that come here and they tell you they're from Georgia, but then when you give them a very simple uh, spelling and pronunciation test, you realize that they might not be a true Georgian. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put up some names here of some cities in Georgia and uh, in uh, a county anyway some place names and then give you the proper pronunciation of these properties so let's start off with this word now you might say you've seen this before it's a place up in New York but in reality, in Georgia, the place we're talking about is in South Georgia. It's a beautiful place, and it's properly pronounced Albany, not Albany. It's Albany. Different kind of a thing. It's almost like A-L-L hyphen B-E-N-N-Y. Sort of that's the way to pronounce it. Albany, not Albany. Different place too cold up there. The second one I've got for you, uh, we'll, we'll continue uh, a little bit alphabetically here, is, you know, there was a president, his name, uh, last name I believe was uh, Buchanan, and, uh, and there's probably some towns somewhere named Buchanan, I don't know where they are, but in Georgia, we don't pronounce it that way. We pronounce it Buchanan, because Buck is cooler than Buke. So, uh, Buckhannon is the way to go. Spelled exactly the same, but it's, it's Buckhannon. Next, I've got one that's uh, a little interesting because uh, this happens to be the name of a famous general who helped uh, the United States win the Revolutionary War. He was French, great guy. And uh, if you were to ask all around, you would say his uh, name was General Lafayette. Spelled just exactly the same here. But uh, in Georgia, it's Lafayette. I don't know why, but I just think Lafayette sounds more manly and strong than Lafayette. But that's just me. I'm just a Georgian. That's just the way I see it. Uh, next, we've got one that's interesting because this is a very famous city in Texas. And uh, if you go down there, I've been to the Houston Astrodome before, and seen the Houston Astros play, but in Georgia, Houston sounds uh, very, uh, it just doesn't sound very homey, but Houston sounds great. I mean, Houston, you can't be Houston. What a great name for Houston County, Georgia. Love it. Then there's this place up in Kentucky that, uh, again, a French name, right? We can't help this stuff, but you know, they, they, they say Louisville, which is great. It has an S in there, but they don't use the S. It's like a useless part. Well, in Georgia, we don't waste anything. And uh, so we pronounce this Louisville. And a uh, great place if you want some uh, heart-baked bread in Louisville. If you know where to go, I'm not going to tell you where because it might get crowded. But uh, maybe if you're a friend of mine, I'll let you know how to get to Louisville and get some uh, good heart-baked bread. Uh, bread in a brick oven. It's great stuff. And then last, I have the most difficult of all. Now, I'm going to give the spelling here, okay? T-A-L-I-F-E-R-R-O. Probably another French word, Talia Ferro. That sounds French, but we don't pronounce it that way. We pronounce it Tolliver. T-O-L-I-V-E-R. Or T-O-L-L-I-V-R-E-R. -E I don't know. But uh, this one's the toughest one. I've even stumped some Georgians on that one who don't know where Tolliver County is. But uh, that's, a, that's a tough one. So I hope you enjoyed my little pronunciation and spelling guide to a few places in Georgia. Uh, if you're ever you know, tested on this, maybe you might pass unless you have one of those oddball accents. And if you got one of those, well, just bless your heart.